Fournette. Fournette goes airborne. He's in. Touchdown, Jaguars. Tip and intercepted by Ramsey to close it out. It's over. The Jacksonville Jaguars have pulled off the upset of the playoffs. What is going on, everybody? It is Treve from Treve Talks here, here to continue the series of the top 25 greatest Jacksonville Jaguar moments. Now, we need some motivation. We need some happiness, especially from the upsetting season that 2018 truly was. And ladies and gentlemen, we are in the top 10, so I give you moments 10 through 6 today in this video. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I am Treve from Treve Talks, and this is the top 25 Greatest Jacksonville Jaguar moments, moments 10 through 6. Number 10, drafting Jalen Ramsey in the first round of the 2016 NFL Draft. Drafting Jalen Ramsey was a franchise-changing move. Whether you want to put a lot of the pressure of the 2017 season on Jalen Ramsey's shoulders or not, he was a key piece and a leader of the Jacksonville Jaguars. He is the face of the franchise, something that this team has not had in a long time until Jalen Ramsey came into town. Before Jalen Ramsey came into town, we were still searching for an identity. At the time, probably the face of the Jacksonville Jaguars was probably like Mercedes Lewis. You know, nobody was really the guy for Jacksonville, the guy that would do all the charity work, do all the interviews. You know, no one was the face of the franchise, a multi-time pro bowler. But that is exactly what the Jaguars got when they drafted Jalen Ramsey in the first round of the 2016 NFL Draft. A perennial Pro Bowl player, a first-team All-Pro in 2017. This is one of the best players the Jaguars have ever drafted, and is going to go down as one of the best of all time. Number 9, signing Calais Campbell in the 2017 offseason. Now, to some, this may be a little bit too high, but Calais Campbell... The two years that he's been in Jacksonville, he has been the best free agent signing the Jacksonville Jaguars have ever made. You look at a lot of the free agents the Jags have signed in the past, and a lot of them have flopped. A lot of them turned out not to be the player that we were hoping for. But that is the exact opposite that we got with Calais Campbell. Campbell came into Jacksonville wanting to compete, wanting to be a leader. He had double-digit sacks in back-to-back -back years as a Jaguar, and in 2017, he broke two records the first year he was here. Most sacks in a single game by a Jaguar, and the most sacks in a single season by a Jacksonville Jaguar. And the guy is already over 30 years old, and hopefully he finishes his career in Jacksonville, and he finishes it on a high note, because this is the best free agent signing the Jaguars have ever made. Number 8, the Jaguars versus the Steelers, 2007. This is the third time the Pittsburgh Steelers have popped up on this list. And in 2007, the last time the Jags were in the playoffs before making it, in 2017, the Jaguars defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers in a thriller. David Garrard on 4th and 2 took the snap and decided to run it for himself to get the first down. This was the game that made me a Jacksonville Jaguar fan. Put it in Josh Scobie field goal range. Scobie knocked it through. And the Jags do what they do best, and that's beating the Pittsburgh Steelers, one of the only teams the Jaguars have a winning record against all time. And it was one of the better playoff games the Jags have ever played, and it ended up the same way as the 2017 season, going into Foxborough and unfortunately losing all hopes of a Super Bowl. Number 7, Maurice Jones-Drew's rushing title in 2011. Say what you want about this. This may be a little bit higher uh on the list and some of you would put it but i think it was really really special because in 2011 the jags weren't doing much of anything the only thing they were doing was running the ball and they ran the ball well with one of the best backs in the nfl maurice jones drew a guy that i think could have been a hall of fame running back if he didn't retire so soon and he didn't fall off towards the latter part of his career but maurice jones drew is one hell of a player for the jags one of the best of all time for Jacksonville and when he got that rushing title in 2011 finally said so before that we didn't have much to cheer about uh, since 2007 so finally finally the Jags had something to be happy about and they had to be happy with a Maurice Jones Drew rushing title that's what Jaguar fans were talking about all over the place the 5-11 record 
didn't matter. What did matter is that we had a guy that was playing his ass off and won the rushing title in 2011, and that man's name was Maurice Jones Drew. Number six, the Jacksonville Jaguars versus Denver Broncos in the 1996 playoff. The Jaguars were an expansion team in 1995 and made their first playoff appearance the second year in franchise history in 1996. And who better to play the Jaguars than a team that was a perennial Super Bowl contender and a longtime dominant force in the AFC by this time, the Denver Broncos. The John Elway led Denver Broncos. The Broncos came into this game overlooking the expansion young Jacksonville Jaguar team and it proved costly. The Jags went out there and shocked the John Elway led Denver Broncos in the 1996 seasons and defeated them in the playoffs. One win that will go down as one of the biggest upsets in NFL history and one of the biggest wins in Jaguar franchise history. Unfortunately that year the Jags ended up losing in I believe the AFC Championship game and to do that and to even just make the playoffs in your second year in 1996 that's a feat all on its own. And that was the top 25 greatest Jacksonville Jaguar moments, moments number 10 through 6. What would you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to check the links down below as well. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Trevin Pixley. And follow me on Instagram, at Trayvon Pixley. Also, if you're feeling oh so generous, you could go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Talks. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.